Alright, what's going on everybody? Doing a film breakdown of Chargers rookie left tackle Ray Sean Slater. And he had an awesome debut. Some stuff to clean up and, and like work on. But like he he won almost every rep, you know. Not every rep was perfect, but like at the end of the day, it's like okay, he did his job on, on almost all of these. And there's a few bad ones we'll go through. Um, but no no like disaster reps. I mean it was beautiful versus what I think is the best D line in the NFL with Chase Young and Montez Sweat. In fact, he he faced Chase Young in the first drive, and then a little bit later in the game, it was mostly versus Montez Sweat. I think Montez Sweat did a lot better of a job versus Slater um, than Chase Young did. But anyways, we'll go through it. Make sure to subscribe, uh, like, you know, if you're a Chargers fan in here, we will do more race on uh, Slater videos throughout the year. And I, I, honestly, the rookie ones, I didn't want to do right away. I wanted to give them a couple games, but this performance was so good that I, I had to do a breakdown on it. So let's start out. And I'm going to go chronologically. Usually I'll, I'll separate it by like, all right, pass, recovery, and then run. And this one I just want to go chronologically because the first drive honestly was his best drive of the game. And it was, it was versus Chase Young. All right. The run the ball on this play. Big game. Let's see. How, let's go through it. They're trying to get right through this hole. Good first step. Bam, bam. Hands are coming with the first two steps. What? His base is a little skinny. But again, on this play, he's trying to he's trying to torque Chase Young out on this play to allow the running back to come right up in here. Good job. Moves him out. Moves him off his spot. You know, a lot of times these blocks, they, even if they do a decent job, they kind of stay right here. But he's able to get movement. And then you get a big play, help from uh, the the wide receiver or tight end or whoever that number 82 is block. Next play, another run, beautifully ran outside zone. I mean, beautiful. Outside zone is really hard to run in the NFL, man, because it's hard to block. So let's go through it. Got that 45 degree step. Bam, bam, hands on. Now he's trying to get his helmet on this side and then turn his hips around. Sometimes, man, the guys cross their feet up trying to do that. They just get themselves off balance. Nope. Forces, extends. Now keep the feet. Get the feet moving around. Move the hips around. Bam. Beautifully done. I mean, this running back can go wherever he wants. And, the, you know, the play is to, you know, you follow the fullback, but it's like you're kind of going off of how the tackle blocks it on the outside or if a tight end's out there. And this is just beautifully ran. I mean, if they even if they didn't have a fullback in this play, if they don't have a fullback in this play, let's just pretend he's not here, and you're making your read off of where his cut is in your offensive tackle. I mean, he's going, he's up through here. I mean, with without the fullback, you probably have one less of these guys in here, and he might have had you know a touchdown. I know the safety's back there, but geez, I mean, just beautifully ran outside zone like that is picture that is that is when you're teaching outside zone, you use that play to to explain it. Next rep, and this is all the first drive. Pass pro. Bam. Doesn't get moved off his spot. Setting out. Not opening his hips. Stand square. Hands on him. Something that he's got to get better at, though, is getting his hands and punching um, first and not letting guys get into his chest. You're going to see that with Montez Sweat a lot. Wants a right foot. Bam. Left foot anchor. Bam. Get low. Don't bend. Don't, uh... Don't, you know, don't lean. Hands inside where you want them. Arms at a 45 degree, at, at a 90 degree angle. I mean, that's beautiful pass pro right there. And then on the touchdown on the first drive of the game. Beautiful. Beautiful. You're, it's like that first play went through. We're trying to let him, we're trying to let the running back get inside. First two steps. Hands inside. Well, I mean, watch the hands. Bam. Inside. Perfect hand placement. Helmet placement perfectly. Now torque them out. Torque them out. Beautiful. Touchdown. And now, what I love. I mean, this is this guy's first drive of the game, which I, I do think was his best drive of the game. I think that was just because Chase Young, as weird as the sound, might have been a better matchup for him than Montez Sweat. Like, that's got to that's gotta get your confidence through the roof, man. To go out versus this top D line. He didn't play football last year. You know, like, he he opted out. 
in your first game, you have the expectations. A left tackle is a very hard position to play as a rookie. It's just a different animal than what you see on colleges on Sundays. You you beat him in your matchup in 2019 and pissed him off, and you go out there and dominate every play. Like that's beautiful stuff, man. That that works wonders for his confidence. And uh, so we'll go through it out. It's it's not all one drive after this, but on this one, this one now versus Chase Young, a bad run out. Good first step. But he kind of gets that hand outside. Chase Young's got his hands inside him on his on his breastplate. Like it's kind of a bad punch. And then he loses his balance. And it's still not the worst block in the world. If this guy gets blocked up, you could still live with this play. But again, it's, you know, 11 guys doing their job. Nice rep versus Young. Bam, bam, bam. Sets. Doesn't open up his hips too much. Now, and this is where his issue is. His hands can be kind of late. Like, you see Chase Young's up inside of him, but I should pause. Is up in <laughs> is uh He's got his hands inside. But good recovery. He's got the athleticism. This is where the athletic... This is where... This is why you're drafting the top 10, because you had this athleticism. It's like, bam, he opens you up your hips, but you're able... To keep your feet moving, you've got good strength. So this move, that doesn't, you know, it doesn't get you get him off balance. He's got a good strong base, and ride him around the corner, or not even around the corner. Like beautiful, beautiful. You, these two did their job. Over here, not so much. So here, most of the rest rest of these are reverse Montez Sweat. And Montez Sweat loves to use his long ass arms and arm bar these dudes. Just bench. Now, again, this is where I think Slater has to get better. Like, he's got his hands on him, he's got long arms, and he's able to push him off. Like, bam. But this is also where Slater's a beast. That he doesn't lose the rep. He loses the first strike, but he doesn't lose the rep. Able to re anchor. Like, that's a good rep, you know? Starts this like, this isn't great. You don't want this. But he wins the rep. And that's why I like about Slater. That's why I wanted my favorite team, the Giants, to draft him. Um, but they traded down, which I'm fine with. Anyways. Sweat doing the long arm thing again here on play action. Gets a hit on, not a hit, but, you know, gets his hands on, on Herbert. So your quick setting, which is it's play action, so you got to give a little bit of the threat of run, sets out towards him, and you see he goes to put his hands on him, but it's just sweats are 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 faster, and that long arm. I mean, sweats arms are so long. So and I saw this this happened to Jedrick Wills last year when they fa when Cleveland faced Washington, the sweat was able to do this long arm thing, versus him, and it's hard to break that off. But you do like that, even though his like. He's got his neck pushed back, and he can't really break those hands off of him. Again, this is where you see his anchor, where you see his lower body strength. And, you know, no Chargers fan watched this rep and was like, ooh, bad rep by Slater. Not a perfect, but not bad either. Sweat gets a QB hit on this one. I'm not sorry. I, I got to stop saying QB hit, QB touch. Good set. Getting ready for the speed. Gets out there quick. Bam, bam, bam. Without leaving his inside open. So a stab. Swipe. Gets that left hand off of him. And now you're... Now, because of that, now you've turned your... your you've turned. And he's turned the corner on you. Let's see. how I mean, how many yards are we getting him at? Where you're... You're washing him around at at like 9, 10 yards, which on most reps you can win, but that's why, you know, like I don't think any offensive tackle should be content with that is because, you know what, there's one, two, three, four, five step drops out of shotgun and not and when these guys don't do their job, you know, it's complimentary football that if, if number 63 doesn't screw up this block, Herbert can step up or if both these guys don't screw up, Herbert can step up and he never gets his hands on him. 
but he's not. He's there. He's not able to because of uh, the interior pressure. Next one. Here, here. This is a good rep, man. Uses his hands. Gets those. You know, gets that punch out there. Sets. Bam. Now it's a, a doesn't get it time it perfectly, but I like that. I want to see him keep you know doing that instead of letting guys just get into him. Miss times it a little bit. Sweat still has long ass arms, but be aggressive with your hands. You got the athleticism. Bam, good rep. Here, just a missed missed assignment. He's uh, you know, he's he's. He's thinking about getting out here and, and sealing this block off, which is a super hard block to make, but you still got to go through your checks. You got to make sure that they, 93, which this happens all the time in the NFL and in college, jumps this gap. And I know it's tough because this is such a hard block to make and, and Jamin Davis is a super athletic dude, but you got to make your checks. And while we're at it, 71. I get that Slater screwed up, but don't let Slater's screw up be your screw up. Get to this linebacker. Because if you get to this linebacker, it could, just, it could still be a successful play. That's just like O-line. I always, one of my favorite things I was ever told was like, we don't want you to mess up, but if you do, mess up at 100 miles an hour. Don't stand around. Because turning around does not help the play, 71. Next rep. Good pass, bro. Versus Sweat. You see his strength. Not a punch, but he's got good hands. That's where you want your hands inside. Here, a really nice down block. Or wait, did I did I miss one? I think I might have missed a rep. I think I missed a rep. Damn it. I think I forgot to get a rep when I clipped this. All right, well, adjust. Learn on the fly. Goes to the hop step on this one. Hands inside. It's got the bull rush. Now, see how both those feet are in the air? That's the hop step. That's on purpose. When you're feeling that bull rush, it's a hop step, bam, then you get the re-anchor with both feet at the same time. Ball comes out anyways, but still. I, I like that that's in his uh, repertoire and he, he feels comfortable going to it. I can't believe I freaking missed that that down. It was a beautiful down block he had and I just, I must have I must have accidentally not clipped it. That sucks. It was a really nice down block. Anyways, and they ran right off of his ass. Good stuff. Good stunt pickup here. Sees it right away. Now watch the right foot. Bam, power down. Guard, good job passing it off, picking up his guy. Bam, big play. Big play. And here versus Chase Young, I think his last rep versus Chase Young of the game. Hands inside. Now you got Chase Young a little too close to you, but extends. That might have been Chase Young too, but still. Good athleticism. Chase kind of does that bull and pull. Which he, he, he loses his balance, but a good job recovering. Putting that hand on the hip and pushing him around the pocket. Recover. So, man, all in all, a really good debut for Ray Sean Slater. You know, I did all the rookie tackles last year. I didn't do worse because he played right. But, you know, uh, Andrew Thomas, Mackay, Becton, Judge Wills. Like, he had a better debut than all, all of those guys last year, so... Good stuff. Like and subscribe to the channel. There'll be more stuff, more Rayshon Slater stuff as the season goes along. I think I'm going to get a Penny Sewell one out in the next. I'll probably do his week one and week two breakdown together. Uh, but, yeah, subscribe to the channel. Football breakdowns and all, all that good stuff. Appreciate you guys. See you on the next one.